practice is always to keep our beginner's mind. For a while, you will keep your beginner's mind. But if you continue to practice one, two, three years or more, although you may improve some, you're liable to lose the limitless meaning of original mind. In the beginner's mind, there is no thought, I have attained something. All self-centered thoughts limit our vast mind. When we have no thought of achievement, no thought of self, we are true beginners.
Hi guys, my name is Yashumital and we will start the live stream in just few more minutes and just enjoy uh, listening to the music.
Oh, hey guys. Yeah, actually, I, I have disabled my mic now. I have just enabled it. Okay. So, as I was saying, that uh, I, uh, today we will work on a uh, bot uh, where we will uh, fetch the uh, Twitch chat messages and send them to the Discord channel. Uh, and uh, okay, great. So, uh, if you have uh, if you have any expertise or uh, do you, if you know about the uh, or Twitch or the Discord APIs or anything else, uh, let me know. Um, because I'm uh, new to this whole thing of uh, of the Twitch APIs and the Discord APIs, and let's see uh, how far we can go with this and what we came up. Um, so I will just give you a brief introduction, like what I am trying to build. So currently, uh, what happens uh, when you uh, send some kind of a message in the chat? Uh, it just shows up in the chat itself, and uh, other people can uh, hop in and uh, chat also. Uh, but I what, what I want that I want to extend this functionality of uh, this uh, whole chatting interface, and I want that people from Discord um, can also reply directly. Uh, from the Discord channel uh, to the uh, Twitch chat, and so this is the, just a basic idea that uh, we can pull the messages and send the message from the Discord. Um, so I have uh, talked with one of my um, friend on the some some other Discord server uh, that uh, he he told me that I can use webhook, but I wasn't sure that how I should use webhook uh, in like in what terms. Um, so one thing can be done that uh, we can just I, I don't think so that uh, we can pull or push uh, message uh, data in two ways from a webhook I think it should be one way only uh, I don't know I haven't um, used webhook very much um, yeah so this is the plan and one thing uh, I just want to specify is that I want to uh, show the user's data uh, on the message itself so what I mean by that is that uh, if I open the the discord uh, application okay. so as you can see over here that I have opened the discord application and uh, what I want that for example uh, someone sent a message from the twitch chat and for example he just sent a hi message then uh, from there the message will pulled and it will be shown in the in the discord channel so what i want that uh, for example uh, someone who, who has whoever has sent the message in the twitch chat uh, his uh, avatar and name should show up along with uh, over here as my avatar and name is showing up so i want that thing but uh, I'm not sure how to do with that thing in the in this uh, Discord thing in that using Discord APIs and so <laughs> let's see how we can do it. So first of all, I'll just uh, do a search that I can see if there is any uh, if there is any uh, pre-built libraries or free uh, yeah, libraries only. Uh, if uh, anyone has built already, we can use that. Okay, so I'll just quickly do a search in Discord JS. So it is the best thing we can because I'll be using uh, JavaScript for this thing, um, and obviously if we are using uh, JavaScript, uh, we, it will be built in Node JS. Uh, it will be just a small application, uh, nothing fancy. But uh, yeah, we can add more features to it as we uh, move on or as we want to add more features. And do let me know guys if the volume is too high or low uh, or if you want to change the sound, just uh, tell me. And okay. So I just found out this thing. It's Discord.js, a powerful JavaScript library for interacting with Discord APIs. Okay, great. 
so here yeah, we can use this now i need to find out for the which one also so that we can work on both of them you can also uh, follow me on twitter and uh, along with that you can uh, join my discord server and uh, in that discord server uh, there is a there is a bunch of uh, audio channels uh, first one is the uh, let's talk audio channel where you can talk with me if you need any help regarding this whole coding thing um, i will try my best to help you out or you can listen to the music uh, if you are if you are interested in listening to the music you can uh, join the music channel uh, mostly i think um, 8 to 10 hours uh, the music channel is available because i also uh, listen to the music uh, using this channel only and uh, if you want uh, to join me on air and talk with me like while i am streaming online you can also do that uh, by join uh, by uh, help by just donating me a few bucks a month uh, you can just uh, join me on air channel and it will help me to run these live streams and um, you can also be a part of uh, part of the community i suppose okay so we got this uh, twitch ds and guys if you have any suggestions uh, regarding this whole thing um, do let me know and maybe that your suggestion might be more helpful okay a community centric community support version of tv.js okay so what it is this let's create a basic chat bot that's connect to twitch chat and respond to commands echo and Haiku. In this example, we will use Node.js, TV.js, and open source module that we can create by communicating to facilitate with working with Twitch chat. Okay. Uh, Haiku knows if I'm pronouncing it correctly. A module that provides us uh, with a predictably generated haikus to share with chat. Okay. Oh, I see. Hmm. And uh, where we need to register the okay dashboard signing. I think we have to uh, register application for that. But before registering an application, let's uh, let's just uh, dive into the this uh, libraries and see what we can find out. Okay. So. Um, first of all, obviously, we need to fetch the data from the Twitch. Uh, so that's the first priority. Uh, first of all, we need to focus on the Twitch part, and later on, we can push that data anywhere we want. So that's the secondary thing. So I will just uh, in this development process, I will just uh, categorize the thing, how we will work on, and how we will proceed further. Okay, so just cancel this for now. If you uh, contribute, now we don't want to contribute. We need to use this library. Yeah, but um, I will try if um, if I can contribute also. Okay, so uh, getting started examples. So let's start with the getting started only. Okay. Uh, if you are using a module bundler such as Webpack, or Browserify, or in no environment, uh, add Twitch.js to your project. Okay, uh, import Twitch.js. Twitch okay, we need to require it. Okay, or we can import it here. And uh, okay, so it, they are just saying how we can use Twitch. Okay, fine. So I will. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so I will go for the this module bundler thing. 
let me create a new folder okay so what should we name this folder okay we can name it um, Twitch Discord yeah it's fine we can change it later on let's open Visual Studio Code it's my favorite editor and uh, what is your favorite editor do let me know in the chat um, so what happened like uh, earlier my favorite editor was uh, sublime uh, when i just uh, first uh, when i was just new to this whole uh, coding thing uh, that was my first editor and then i moved on to atom mm, so for sublime text you can say i used it for maybe not for long but uh, i have used it for maybe three four months not for long and then i have used uh, atom for you can say around of um, eight months i suppose and we have code again um, now it's about one year uh, i have used but it's really awesome Uh, but there are still few things which I don't like about uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, but uh, on the other side, uh, the way they are uh, releasing new features and uh, that's uh, that's really awesome. Okay, come on, open it, open, 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 and uh, in the meantime. My PC is getting a lot slower. Okay. Open Git Bash. So, first of all, we will just start with a simple uh, CS file, and then uh, as the project move on, we will uh, split the files. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to npm install. Okay, so do we need to use, uh, do we need to install webpack also? I'm not sure. If you are using module bundler, so they haven't mentioned that uh, that we need to install a webpack or not because uh, I think I have installed webpack nobly. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they have to. They need. Uh, the, I think they must need to mention that uh, that you need to install Webpack also. But uh, I have installed globally uh, Webpack if I remember correctly. I just forgot. Oh shit! Shit! Cancel! 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 I forgot to initialize the project. NPM init. Okay. And over here in the meantime, we can import. Okay, and it's still running. What's happened? Complete work. That's strange. Hmm. Okay, description. I just press enter. So we just need a basic uh, package or this file so that we can keep the track of uh, the packages we install.
Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what's the next step? For more, more information, see the club or something. Browser script okay. You know we don't need to use the script file. We are using virtual butler. Uh, include the following JavaScript to get started specifically. Okay, so here's the Node.js. Okay, so I think it will take a time. Const yes require okay and set up the client with your configuration more details more details here the configuration of okay. a option uh, provide an identity password okay so i think uh, we need to uh, register the application first i think so okay so this is the channel so why it is asking for the ch channel okay so so is it asking for the i mean the the twitch channel uh, or it is just the, the chat channel because uh, i think twitch also has the chat room i suppose Commenced client, new Twitch options, okay, we are passing options, client. Message received from add chat event, this uh, that will with them. We don't want to, no. okay, but for you know, just to get started, we need that. Okay, so it's just it. It's taking a lot of time. I should have used GR. That's quite faster. Okay, so it's installed. Great. Now we can. We need to register the. Uh, application I suppose let me do that quickly so I'll just move the registration of application on my other scene and uh, see if there is any sensitive information that I need to pass uh, or I, I will just share it with you publicly my pc is getting a lot slower okay so npm one it is called okay 
Okay, so let me we need to check the configuration also. Let me pop the link. Okay, so they have shown, for example, in the code sandbox. That's nice. We can try that. Uh, if it works, uh, because I have used a code sandbox a uh, few times and I like it very much. now I can create the application get started How to create an application in the in the Twitch? What's the next step over here? Let me just look at the configuration also. so that you can see it okay so now I need to open so let me just uh, work on a few tabs <laughs> otherwise it will get a lot slower I have opened a lot of things like I have opened uh, Chrome, yes, Vitals Record, Discord uh, OBS obviously for streaming, uh, pretzel, pretzel um, music, and uh, it. I mean, the dozen. I can close it this for now. I can start it later on. Okay, so what's over here? If you want to connect to a certain user, provide an identity. Provide an uh, identity here. Yeah. Identity username. Out.
Okay. Uh, so. So I think I need to register the application first. Okay, let's register. It is asking for the name. Extension app game drop. So I think it is an app only. Yeah, it is a new application that uses the Twitch API to interact with Twitch. Uh, okay, so since uh, we are using uh, Node.js, we need uh, an uh, Express Node.js framework. So I think it will be a lot easier to create a server. I haven't used uh, Express recently. Okay, so let's try it. The name of the application should be again Twitch Discord. We need an endpoint. You can set it to the host. Okay, that's great. Local host port 8000. Select the category. It is a chatbot. <coughs> so I'm not sure. It will be a chatbot, I suppose. Um, browser extension, broadcaster suite. Oh yeah, so it will be chatbot because we are using the chat functionalities. Create your application may not contain the word which Oh great. So what should we do now? So we can do Twitch chat Discord, I suppose. Your application may not contain the word which That's a big pain. Uh, I don't know how to run this thing. Where's the console? Connecting to okay, port this was a new thing. Okay, so we joined. Okay, so it doesn't work, I suppose. Uh, add listener for event chat event. You can do something with the chat message over here. Console info. Channel uh, user said message self. <laughs> okay, so we will just stick with the Node.js only. Uh, let me first decide the name. Uh, but I think. Uh, I don't know if we can change the name later on or not because they haven't mentioned over here or we can just use a discord discord chat client uh, name already exists discord we cannot use twitter also so what name should we use now? Uh, Discord chat Oh great Now this is a bigger problem Users when authorizing your application Displayed to okay, so this name is displayed You know what Fetch uh, chat messages. Okay. Show chat messages in Discord channel. Okay, that's fine. We can change our move later on. 
Okay, so we have got the client ID, client secret. But what about the auth? So here we need to enter the username with an issue uh, out. So uh, do I need the so I, I don't think so it is related to the uh, application new secret then we confidential and So over here it is asking for the, the provide an identity. So it is, is it asking for the like the user identity or the, the application uh, which we have created? Message command uh, do not respond if the message uh, if option dot identity and message is equal to command if self return do not respond if the message is from a connected identity do not respond <laughs> what's this it should be respond. I think there is a mistake in the in the wiki. So it's a respond. Okay. So this is the application ID. Chat client uh, configuration each and every. Option list below is optional running Twitch JS without option result and uh, anonymous connected connection to Twitch and you will have to join channel manually option client ID used to identify okay so here's the options debug boolean uh, command timeout integer number of millisecond before command will run out of rules for server, server. Okay, so we can leave the leave the command timeout because because it will be just you can say a real time thing that it is just sending the chat to the Discord uh, identity uh, or password chat. Okay, uh, which chat password generator? Huh? Uh, Twitch now requires that you log in uh, IRC using an auth token instead of your plain text password or hash for additional securities. Uh, using this tool to generate auth token to authenticate with Twitch IRC, the entire just a second, let me show you what I'm reading. Uh, the entire uh, presented token, including auth, can be substituted. Uh, for your older password in IRC client to revoke access disconnect chat or token generate the format with setting this uh, application uh, uses the implicit client flow for the Twitch API to retrieve your token this means that your token is fully uh, ever visible to your browser and not on our server Send by stream chat and room messages perform uh, moderation of action in the channel live login chat and send messages. Okay, so let's see what happens.
सक्सेस फॉर सो कैन वी शेयर दिस आई डोंट नो सो लाइक आई हैव गॉट अ यू कैन से ऑथ आई डी या सम कॉल हेड पासवर्ड सो इज इट शेयरेबल ओवर हियर इफ आई डू कोडिंग लाइव ओवर हियर Okay, no worries. We can uh, delete it later on. What's wrong? Oh, that's a comment. Okay, now it should work. Not which app or DMs. Now we should. Okay, what's next? Let me split the screen. Now we need uh, options. Where we need it? Okay, options over here. Okay, channel. Channel to me list of connection to a whole new. Whole uh, list of channels to join when connected. Okay, okay it will be logger object, custom logger with the method C4 or whatever. Let me add the options. So we are adding options inside options. No, no, no. Client ID. Where's the client ID? Yep. Okay. Client ID should be a string, and then debug should be a boolean, so it should be true. Show debug messages in the console. Of course, we need the messages, error messages in the in the console connection string uh, connect to this server over its cluster and connect to this server instead okay well, let me just uh, arrange these things channel below and oh, client id at the top And then, so I'm still not sure regarding this option thing that uh, do I need to add it and uh, array or it should be over here only. Like, uh, do I need to create a, a separate uh, JSON object for the for the options? Okay, and. And we got server. So connect. Then we need port should be an integer, so it can be a DAT. We can do we need to which one is next from server. Yeah, so uh, since we are using it uh, internally and for testing right now, so we can make it uh, true because we are just in the debugging mode. And max reconnect attempts. Uh, so default is infinite. That's fine. Max reconnect. Okay. Reconnect delay one and that's fine. Secure. Format for two. This one use. Okay. Time out here left. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think uh, the the local host port we enter in the in the auth redirection URL was eight thousand, so we need to enter over here also eight thousand. Okay, what's next? Uh, 
uh, let's run the application now because we have uh, entered most uh, almost basic things now it should work okay so we have opened the <coughs> we have opened the, the terminal now we can run the node index.js let's see what we get just finger cross that we don't get an error wow that's that's very common oh, we we are using good that's not good yet shoot um, um, we are using import right so we should use import and okay const let me do the like, intent date Dedication properly. Okay, what else? We need to rename it from Twitch JS to simply Twitch. So we are passing, uh, creating a const and then uh, passing the option check. Okay. And then uh, in the client uh, in the chat, we are passing parameters, channel, user, state, message, self, console, log, display, okay, self, channel name, or oh, display name, okay, 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 now let's see if it works. What's I uh, don't know. Uh, expected identifier. Hmm. What's wrong? Do we need to use the const thingy? Require. Will this work? I think we are not uh, now we are not getting any error and it is now uh, running the code and doing connecting uh, connection with the with the Twitch APIs. Okay, so what's happening in the chat? Okay. So we get the uh, uh, connection reconnecting in two seconds. Anybody connect? Wow, this error originated either uh, by throwing inside of an ASIC function without a catch block or by rejecting from this which was not handled with a catch. Okay, deposition warning. What are the deposition? that is not good okay so we are going to add over here we are getting the error Twitch for client options, client on chat. Okay, so it's reconnecting after uh, after a few seconds.
what happens from the satisfaction one is unable to connect and then click on the satisfaction so what's the I just copied what uh, I was think they have shown over here And uh, you, you must be thinking that what is this uh, this uh, this raccoon thing? Uh, well, uh, it is a um, Discord bot uh, which uh, I have been using for a while, and it's quite awesome. So what it does that we can record um, audio directly from the Discord audio channel. Uh, I know it's quite uh, sounds quite awesome but uh, so this is what it uh, does um, and uh, now since i'm doing the live stream and of course this live stream will be saved uh, on the twitch also but i'm saving the audio also okay so i have I just used whatever they have said over here now it's why it's not Okay, no JS. So we are getting the same error now. Pretty fun. Line number 51. To see this code in action. Okay, so yeah, we are using it a bit. So this is very awesome. documentation so we got also the chat configuration commands that was even take the use function So we have already uh, visited the configuration page. Now we need the method, events, and command. So uh, I will just use the run kit for now, and I will just close the Windows before. So we are um, we have uh, required the Twitch JS library, and then we are we have initialized it. Options connection we connect to secure option debug. Some methods may require a client ID if needed. Provide a client ID below. 
Sometimes this may require an identity if needed to provide an identity where prepend uh, your auth uh, prepend your token with an auth okay so it should be an uh, string let me just copy those values where it is here it is discord twitch Okay, so here is the <coughs> auth ID, I mean the token, and we need the client ID. So the client ID is also a string. So we have passed the string. We let me just uncomment these things. And okay, so now it should work. And let me change this to the issue and paste this over here okay so yeah this looks fine we are passing the options um, to add chat event listener with that we respond to chat command message with hello world client on chat okay oh, sorry guys my dog is quite hmm aggressive okay so let me just run this thing so what was uh, what's wrong with this thing okay so over here it will work I suppose now we got a promise Promise prototype cat constructor finally then uh, object prototype so how we can uh, interact with the okay so over here should I write something over here uh, let me enter let me just show you the chat okay so you can see the chat now if i add the option i mean if i enter the if i type command oh god great great <laughs> so it worked okay so as we can see over here the method issue typed uh, command and then uh, received command received i mean the message command over here the message command received from the user display name uh, then we are showing the info there it is okay now we are showing the info as channel uh, hello world and then again the message received okay so over here it is uh, working But we don't want the messages to be replied uh, directly in the directly in the Twitch chat. We want to send those messages, and uh, we also want all the message, uh, all the chat messages to be sent to the uh, to the Discord. So let me just copy the whole code just to be on the same page I need to open the widgets to the code again let me check the commands Okay, so we got uh, send an action message on channel 
ban username on channel clear clear all messages on the channel run commercial on the channel for x seconds connect to server disconnect from server remote only channel follows join a channel host a channel mod username on channel leave a channel okay send a message on a channel send an instant message to a user and mod a user on a channel and current hosting okay Most this for all in key beta send a phone message to the server send message on the channel leave a channel post then uh, action send an action message or channel each and every action support promises some commands require you to log in Uh, resolve the phone message send a rejection or request timeout. There is no possible way to know if a message has been sent successfully unless we create two connections. This promise will always be resolved unless you are trying to send a message you are, and you are not connected to a server. Client connections and message then should be kept. Then clear all message chat. Color. Commercial connect disconnect remote. Okay, so what's next? We got events in info. Let me open the okay, so it worked and it's great. Let me just try it again. Command. Did the server stop? Oh, the server is stopped. Okay, so the server is running again now. Let me enter this command again. And it worked. Hello, one. So that's great. Okay, so we got the uh, events. User name has been timed out, timed out on a channel and host and more. So we sub user name has been subscribed to on a channel. The user name is new to the stream. The current state of channel. Chat received a uh, received message. No, that's what we want. See you. Got, you see that we need this thing. Received message on channel. Channel name. No user state. No message received. Sent message or sent by client. Okay. According to Twitch, uh, the user object uh, is always subject to change. Okay that's fine uh, but we need to filter out the content we want so it is showing a lot of things um, but uh, so well it can be complicated so it so let me see let me tell you how uh, what uh, what i am thinking is that so from this we can see the 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 json object over here is showing the patch the color the display name emotes mod uh, subscriber turbo and uh, emotes raw and yeah so these things and what i meant by that is that uh, since uh, we are we just need the usernames uh, i mean the I, we need just the just the users uh, avatar and the name and the message also uh, but the we don't want the the badges and the subscriber info or the turbo info uh, because we don't need that or we don't want to show that info right now 
but we can make it complicated later on uh, as uh, for example we can filter that if the user has connected uh, we can filter that if the user has a discord account but that it, that can be too complicated or the user has to authorize uh, his uh, discord uh, account also so we don't want that we just want uh, we don't want uh, users to bother to uh, sign in uh, to, for this message thing uh, we just want to keep it for ourselves that uh, we are fetching all the chat messages which are sent to the to this uh, chat uh, channel and it is shown in the uh, the in the discord channel so that's why we don't need all these just a second guys my dog wants to come in just a second guys I'll be back okay guys so we are back and things have been all sorted out with my dog and now he's inside he's on he's in, he's in the other room okay so i hope like uh, what type of data we want to interact with but there is one problem i just recently came up with for example uh, when a user <coughs> excuse me so uh, as i was saying that if a user enters some kind of an uh, emoji and just a second okay so for example we add this yeah so if we add this uh, emoji and uh, since uh, uh, since uh, i think twitch emojis are different from discord uh, emojis and for example even if we send this uh, emoji as a uh, i think uh, we have to first convert into a unix code I, I don't know what it's called properly uh, but uh, it is converted to it was where, where the emoji is converted into a string uh, and then passed it uh, further but I don't know how uh, it will work but what I'm trying to say that uh, there might be some conflicts over here where we might face issues uh, by passing text uh, through uh, Twitch to Discord Okay, so over here we are showing uh, client on chat. Do your job. Okay, so over here we can send the message to the Discord, and over here we are ignoring uh, the message which we are sending uh, ourselves. So we because we want to send all the message which are in the 
the twitch chat so that's why we have to uh, listen to our own messages also so we cannot uh, ignore those one and so we can just uh, simply remove this thing and we can even move on but before that let me just copy the code and paste it just finger cross that hope it works <coughs> okay so the package dot json file have this thing and let me change it to okay so let just uh, let it be uh, let me change this one and we can change this from so there's a problem with ESLint so that's a um, total mess okay so I'll just remove those and um, dev we can use dev thing okay so we can use node uh, index.js so if we uh, even use node dot node index.js that is much shorter than if we type uh, npm run dev but it doesn't matter right now because we are just a ba uh, creating a basic and uh, we, i hope that it works so it doesn't matter Okay, so now it's working properly. That's great. A big thumbs up. Now, if we are, if you open this, and if we type command, oh, great. That's great. That at, at least you know, it is responding to the message. now what we want uh, so currently it is just uh, reading the the user input like uh, i have entered the message the command and it is interacting with that command so do not respond someone has sent me a discord message and you can join my discord server if you want um, let me share my discord link using this link you can you can uh, join the discord so uh, now since uh, guys have you seen the terminal that i have entered the command discord this uh, discord command and it showed over here means it is reading every command uh, along with the message so that's what we want we want the message i need to now disable the discord it is annoying okay i can mute the whole discord thing i mean the notifications only mute defame I don't know what will happen if we use defame because I think defame is for the audio channel. I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay. So currently we will just use the uh, use the terminal and test out different things that how it goes. Come on, man! I'll just stop sending messages. Wow. 
there is no option to you know uh, just um, mute all the notifications in just one click notifications enable text notification if you are a not enable okay so there is an option uh, enable and read message okay okay so i have just i think uh, it should work because i have uh, disabled desktop notifications okay and okay so yeah so that that was uh, with the discord that you can join my server and you can also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is mithalesh77 and you can also help me to run the live streams by giving me some uh, some bucks um, maybe you can pay it directly uh, you can pay it on monthly basis or you can pay it one time or uh, apart from that if you need uh, uh, if you want to help me to run this live stream and uh, along with that you need some perks uh, what you can do is you can uh, if you have joined or if you, uh, if you join my discord channel right now and the discord server right now uh, you will uh, you will able to um, you can you will see let me just uh, show you only let me just show you uh, as you can see on my screen that um, there are different uh, audio channels and uh, if you want to be on here with me like I'm now, right now speaking and you can see uh, you must be seeing on the screen that there are uh, two uh, over here you can see something like that that this is uh, the pod which is recording and this is my name I'm just pointing it um, because I'm seeing uh, no, I'm, not, I'm not able to see those uh, two icons on my screen screen because I had just uh, embedded that layer uh, during streaming but uh, you must you must be able to see that so what I meant that he, uh, if you want to be with me on air talking with me or talking to public uh, or the or to the audience you can uh, you can be a part of that community by uh, by you can uh, just uh, you can purchase a role some kind of that um, so you, you can just click this link so what you can do, you can just type donate and you will get uh, this uh, this uh, attachment you can click this link and there will be two separate uh, role models first one is the subscriber and uh, second is I think uh, it's on your only uh, I don't remember uh, but uh, both of the role has uh, different perks so if you uh, subscribe to the subscriber uh, role you will be able to have access to the let's talk channel where you can talk with me and if you need any help or you can just want to hang out over there and chat with other people you can do that or you can also listen to the music yeah you can also listen to the music if uh, if, you, uh, if you are in the subscriber and uh, apart from that if you are uh, if you subscribe to an uh, on air uh, role uh, you will get access to all the subscriber perks and also you will be able to uh, join the on air channel where you can join me on air while i'm streaming okay so that's all uh, so now let's get back to the coding part okay so as you can uh, as you must have seen that while i was typing all those chat commands in the in the in this chat uh, all those messages uh, were sh were shown up over here in this uh, in the terminal and even though you can see uh, it is showing pretzel rock so that message is also showing up over here 
and that is what we want and it is it is working uh, as expected but uh, so over here it is showing that if option uh, dot identity message is equals to command okay so we can remove this so let me just a second just for reference i will duplicate this file command okay so it can be as copy okay so now we can tweak this file so we don't want this one because we don't want it to we don't want first uh, since we have able to access the this message command and just we have just get access to access to the just a basic thing that uh, that it is uh, showing the text message on the the text message on the uh, in the terminal in the in the as a console uh, but we also want the user's data and the avatar so that's also important and for that uh, let's get back to the uh, to the documentation and so those were the events now let me see the methods uh, okay so let me see the apis Query the which API aka can, can in your application or your website it support Ajax request but it has limitations which is requiring the client ID header on all your API. No, we don't want that. We don't want to make an Ajax request. Okay, so let me see the methods right now. Client dot get channels get options get user name. Now that's what we want. Is a channel on a mode? Not implemented. Functions to check if a user is a mod or a channel might not be an accurate. Whatever. Well, we don't need that thing so we can ignore that but we need this thing get username get username get the current username and what were the events so over here in the chat we can see we are using a channel uh, user state object message and the cell okay so display name message uh, so what is this with uh, the user data I mean the user state okay so the user state must be in uh, JSON so, okay so So it should be uh, okay. So okay, okay. Now I got it, got it, got it. So we are filtering out the data. So what we can do, we can just pass on this thing. So we can just get an overview of whatever data it is showing. Yeah, we can do that. Now we are good to go. Let me just need to. I think I think we need to rerun the. Server. 
so let me know guys uh, uh, because i have recently just uh, changed the, the audio level of the music uh, just let me know if it, the volume is too high or low okay so load in test.js Okay, so it is working correctly right now. Yeah, of course we it has to work properly because we haven't made any major. Okay, so it did work the same from object object. Okay, so it is now showing an error. So what we can do? We can. I got an idea. Uh, since earlier we was just using this thing. Let me uh, make it full screen. Come on, this mach crap machine doesn't even work. Okay, so we are doing this currently as the display name. Okay, so let me put it to a Put it as an array. Uh, I hope it. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. So it has to be a message. Okay, so it has to be an array. Yeah, now it works. So it should be display. Okay, so we can make it. I'm just uh, using it for debugging uh, stuff that uh, how does the data shows okay so we got this let me just break it so we got only we can add a comma comma let me just take the unit so we got uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 okay so we can add Badges. I don't know if it, this will work since uh, most of the data is uh, different. I don't know. And it will be badges. Color. Display name. Remotes. room id yeah so th this is what i was talking about that uh, which has separate uh, chat or uh, i mean separate room for but i don't think so that i i'm like i, I don't know how to use those uh, different room So there is a lot of data we can access to and we also need, do not need all of that information uh, uh, but since we are accessing the user data we also need to inform uh, in the starting only that uh, and uh, that whenever I start a Twitch uh, live stream that um, I think um, so what I can do instead of that whenever I start a Twitch live stream uh, instead uh, so whenever a, a user sent a message before that it will send a message that uh, that your that your data is being uh, is is being sent to discord channel uh, you know just to be uh, just to be on the same side that we are telling user in front that uh, that we are uh, accessing their uh, their avatar uh, and their and their the name and the messages 
uh, but yeah one thing i just remember that there is not an option to fetch the user avatar so yeah I, uh, like as i told you that uh, i don't think so there is any option to fetch that thing which is very bad I uh, wish that could be possible uh, but uh, I think I can contact uh, Twitch if possible and ask them if there is any uh, if there is any way to fetch the user's avatar ok so let me just rerun the server Okay, so again just finger crossed and see if it works or not. Okay, so here is the, I hope it is not blocking the view. Let me just move it over here. And the Twitch chat uh, right over here. So that you can see if there is any incoming message, it can be directly dropped in the, in the terminal. And since uh, another thing that uh, uh, we are still using the this uh, command hello world so even if we type that command at least my detail should show up okay so now we are just waiting okay so it has joined so now it is waiting command so if we enter hi okay so great so we can see that it is showing all the data that message type chat the username, uh, Mithali issue, the full name, Mithali issue, <laughs> mode null, mod, false, room ID, subscriber false. Uh, yeah, since uh, <laughs> I am the broadcaster, so there is no, so it doesn't make any sense if I am the subscriber. Uh, but uh, so we, if we, because we don't, we don't need uh, the badges thing and. <laughs> We don't need all the stuff so we can ignore them and now on the other side we also need the stuff like uh, badges username and what is the use of this thing message time let me just just like now what if i uh, as i have told you again earlier that what if we use an emoji or you can say uh, emote so if we use this uh, love sign okay so in the text you can see over here it is showing just an as a simple string and uh, badges okay so the color is what is the color here the color is none what is that uh, anyway uh, okay so we got everything uh, emote Okay, so now you can see the emote is again uh, undefined. I mean, it is not defined. Okay, so the emote is again an JSON object which is passing in a way mm. with a key property. Okay, so now we have got the pretzel data also. We got the badges, color. Uh, full name pretzel rock and the boat uh, model false for my subscribe false yeah so we budget raw partner so my budget raw is broadcaster okay so that's good that we are getting all the data so what we need now we need to pass uh, so just for testing uh, So now just for testing we need to pass this uh, data to uh, to the discord so so we have just uh, completed half of the our work and now rest of the half is that we need to uh, work on the discord part where we are sending messages using the card discord so so the process will like that that we are just uh, getting the message uh, from Twitch to our server and then passing the messages from server to Discord. So it is uh, 
so uh, in the front end it looks like that is a it is a track connection between twitch and discord so which is actually we are trying to create but in the back end we are just creating three uh, separate sections uh, with the twitch server to the the custom server we are creating and the and then discord now we need uh, the discord.js so i think uh, i have this discord js so we need this thing and uh, i hope just like twitch dot uh, js this thing can also work <clears throat> so I can close this one and uh, I will also use a run kit for this one also okay so here is the discord.js and we can use the i hope we can use the run kit i just need to check this out so here is the documentation install node.js let me just check the node.js also so it is saying we need node.js 8 for new so i think uh, we have installed node GS10 uh, because uh, earlier also I have created uh, some other projects. Yeah, so we are on the Node.js10 uh, without UI support. With UI support, uh, I don't know. So we just start with the simple without UI support only. we don't need to make it more fancy uh, and also because uh, twitch doesn't support any uh, voice thing on the chat so that's why we don't need that thing also now uh, that okay so we got that thing so let me install that also wait oh, a second we just a second we can install it as a uh, development dependency so why installing it uh, as a dev dependency i mean as a dependency i don't know uh, there's a sometimes i get confused that uh, it is a dev or a whatever dependency it is so i think it should be saved okay Okay, so now uh, okay, so it will take a lot of time to install it. Uh, let me just uh, use the run kit to test it out in the meantime. And uh, I have already uh, created the dis uh, the Discord application. Um, I mean, uh, just few days earlier, I have just created it. Uh, Here is the option for the run kit of okay, a test with run kit. Uh, I don't think so is that there is a uh, option in the yarn. Uh, I think it might be their backlog or uh, they might have planned that to indicate run kit or any similar feature in their in their website. Okay. 
so I can close this thing and what else we have need this thing before ok so we got the playground the discord my bot my bot message function if message or content in my bot like uh, login with token so what should be the token so now uh, again uh, like what uh, is called API is Discord API, Discord server. So, uh, what will be the API? Like, it is the the user's API or the the server API or the app API. I don't know. Let's check it out. Discord dev. And here is the application which I have created. So let me move it off screen so that you cannot see my client secret ID. Okay, so over here there is no option for the token login with the token. So how should I log in with my token? <clears throat> Let me check in their documentation. There is no search option also. Channel remote world is it called world? Uh, I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing it correctly. Uh, my voice certified devices community resources in gateway. Um, let me see. I go to my let me just do it for Google search. Discord token generator. So there is a package for that also. Discord token. So I think we can get a Discord token from the Discord application also. I think so. Because uh, that a token should be generated from the account and it should uh, it has to be generated so my account authorized app I don't see any option for the token. How we can create a token? Let me watch this video. Discord token grabber.
not very helpful. Hmm. So they are referring to auth token. Okay, so it can be auth token. Token URL. <coughs> The previous like I did, let's see, create those people who will implement. <coughs> okay, so let me just try the application ID. Oh, I need to hide the screen. Okay, so here's the client ID. So I can just try with the client ID and I hope it works. And I also need to install this thing. So my bot login with token is not, not a function. What? There is a mistake. Okay, so you to specify um, so it should be web book no message read location so what type of it will be it will be channels so what is this um, called uh, so it is the shop user in channel of the server with UI uh, called Okay. So let in the collection cards. Okay, so we need to create a bot. So bot permission we send messages. Uh, view channels attach embed links manage messages I suppose uh, but uh, right now we don't need uh, let me just show you uh, as over here you can see uh, we don't need all these things we can use create instant invite you know we can uh, if uh, if the projects improve we can do some modification for our project I mean for uh, our customs uh, bot where it will generate a instant invite and send that invite to the twitch chat it's a good thing uh, manage uh, emotes manage uh, view channels we don't want that I think we want that I don't know okay so we will just keep it for now uh, attach files, read the message history. You want that? Yeah, we want that. Uh, so I'll just explain you that why we need read message history and how I don't, I, I don't think so that it is related or not, uh, like what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, so I'll just tell you. So what happened that if uh, just a second, let me hold. So as you can see over here that I have two separate channels. The first is that uh, Twitch chat and the second is the Twitch chat history. Um, so what I uh, meant by that uh, it should uh, view the, the, the chat history uh, is that uh, for example that I have started this live stream and all the chat messages which are sent on this live stream will be uh, obviously it will be sent over here and once it is done uh, once i have end the live stream and then uh, all those chat messages will be append over here um, so there are two ways we can implement uh, the first one is that as the messages are sent over here in this channel along with that one sent uh, one message will be sent over here and uh, if a user sent message directly from the discord channel from this one it will be sent to this one also and also we need to disable the disable the reactions also because that's useless and uh, 
um, because we are not uh, setting that data to the twitch but we can uh, keep it enabled also so that uh, users can interact with the uh, messages itself uh, mention everyone uh, we don't need that add reactions we don't need that connects so uh, we don't need that okay now okay uh, you will specify at least one you are for the data to work you if you pass me you are in the auth request it must specialize it okay so if i add local host it should work Well, this doesn't do any good just sitting here take the scope your application needs to function copy the url below others can use that url to authorize your application okay so now i think i need to visit this url but how will i connect the url i mean how will i connect the bot with that actual code which i have which i'm testing in the run kit wow unknown error okay so first the error will be unknown the url because we haven't created any server yet that's obvious we need to set up the the authentication how should we do that What happening? My username it is not accepting. Okay, so it is Mithal Yeshu. Mithal Yeshu. Okay, now it should work at least. Cannot invite yourself to the application at least. Wow. So how should I? I mean, how should I? Um, test my application <coughs> where is that uh, appearance overlay okay it is in the appearance the, the developer mode exposes context menu pause using this for API here I finish test for enter your Discord API share it Okay, so we can enter the application ID over here. Now, okay, so here is the application ID. Activate. Not authorized to enable test mode for this application. Why? 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 No, that's not good. That's definitely not good. I'm still thinking that how we generate a token. Okay, um, right. so let me read the documentation. We also have uh, this support uh, Discord server where I can ask. But before that, uh, I let me just check the documentation. It's 
if it is possible or not Topic that is your code, Texas, the thing, very tops. We log for your account. Log our log our account. Okay. So which token it is referring to, I am not getting it. So like this is the application ID. This is the client ID, the client secret. Where is that token? I have to ask in the Discord channel only. Here is the channel okay so here is the channel and This channel is for portion of those experienced without the Scotter Red Library. You are still expected to have a little work in your idle task. Yeah, makes sense. How to generate a token? I hope that someone is okay. Someone is replying. Okay, now you can get your bot token. Okay, I see. Yes, do it. Do it right now, or I will get angry. Twitch chat. I guess I can copy the token and public bot can be added by anyone when in chat. Uh, only you can join this bot to server to servers okay so yeah I, I don't want to keep it private for now and if the response is good because uh, uh, I don't know so let me know guys like what do you think that should I make it private or public and if you are interested in using it uh, do let me know Okay, so I have copied the token now. Let me see if it works now. My bot token, my token with. So what's wrong with it now? It should work. Okay, so it should be logged in. The code is itself wrong, and it is not working. Client new okay very logged in so this code will actually work let me copy this one okay so and let me change this from war to const and now it should work client on message okay so let me run it back now oops 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 mistake it should be client 
Okay, dot login and uh, the token. Okay, so I think it's working. Logged in as Twitch chat. And now, <clears throat> now I, how can I uh, access the the bot? Do I need to install the bot? Bring your app to life by adding a bot user. This action is irreversible because robots are too good to destroy. Wow, what a joke! Bots permission. Oh, wait, so we need all those permission again. Create this in white hat. Okay, many. We need to manage the message so that it can delete the messages also. Okay, in that case, attach files. We don't want that. I don't know. Mention everyone. Um, well, uh, we don't want it to mention everyone, but uh, it can mention, like, for example, I mentioned someone specific. So, in that case. And yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so now how can I access the bot? So if message content is pink, so should I enter over here? Okay. So the bot is not installed on my server. That's the problem. So here it is only showing that it is uh, logged in as Twitch chat, the client username. But how should we install the, the bot to the Client ID. It is not working over here. Okay, where it is, where it is, where it is, where it is. Where the hell it is? I mean, like, how we can make it work? So uh, I think we need to install the application. And for that, hmm. you know, let me uh, try it over here directly. So and we have installed the Discord also. Okay, let me just remove this red key. And now Post this card this card required and 
it is discord dot js hello it should okay cost client a new client discord okay so we can change this from i mean from client to fetch message just uh, i mean it will help to uh, rename the messages and to understand like what is what and this will be send message discord dot client parent client so after uh, it is logged into the to the twitch pod and after that we need to make it work Okay, so I can just enter it over here. Let me just ask one more question to them. Okay, so it is working now. I mean, I have pasted that. Now we need uh, to so earlier uh, we was getting the message. Uh, so whenever someone uh, replies so we are constantly logging that message but instead of that we will send that message so we will write uh, send message <coughs> dot com message <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, message and then okay. Oops. Right. Message or contact. So uh, I don't get it. Like uh, message or content. Okay, so let me just try this uh, message dot message dot reply and uh, the text of the actual message. So it is this. So we can just pass the message, I think. Uh, message dot reply.
Uh, so okay, I just uh, talked with uh, with the guys on the Discord, <coughs> Discord.js, and they have told me that you need to generate an invite link and select the server uh, you want it to be in. Okay, so uh, how should I generate the invite? So what I have selected all those settings why did it get saved? Let me just refresh. No, I thought it will save automatically. But it didn't work I think oh shit we need to do all the stuff again and get no need okay manual fill up this and okay 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 now it makes sense but there is no option to save the settings Okay, so here is the channel. So we want to send the message to the specific channel. Um, represents uh, any channel on Discord. Of my that initialize the channel. The unique ID of the channel. Uh, so we want this. We want uh, we want to send the message to specific. Uh, to specific a channel only. Okay, so uh, I have got this over here. Uh, you, know, you can see the door talks. So what we will do? So we will write if the channel dot id is to a specific channel what we want, then only send the message, and we can copy the id of that specific channel. Copy ID. Okay, so I'll copy the ID, and now if cell ID. Okay, so it is creating a conflict between the between the Discord and the Twitch. So what should we do? Over here, I'm referring to the Discord. Uh, Discord channel. And over here, I'm referring to the, to the Twitch channel. Just a second.
the discord js dot guide so if you are reading this blog you can go to learn about how to develop the power bi discord js option okay yeah good This all in Node.js. You have, have done that already. Very good. Node.js. Uh, sorry, we will do that later on. Setting up, setting up for application. Uh, open up the Discord website. Uh, okay. Then tab uh, bot token. What's the bot token? If you bought it, uh, a token is essentially a bot password. Uh, it's what your bot uses to log into Discord. Uh, with that being said, it's so vital that you do not even share this token with anybody. Said someone does. Mm. So in that case, you can regenerate it. So now even <laughs> you you have access to my bot now you cannot use it anymore because I have regenerated it. Okay. Token leak scenario that's my network of October one. So we are Okay, so the bot is the way it works. Okay, that's fine. Adding you to okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so uh, it will be uh, it will be telling you for the previous page. If I you should have a bot application set up, however, it's not need any servers yet. So how does it work? Before you be able to see a bot in your own or other servers, it could be especially mighty that you will create using your bot application ID. The body by things the basic was of the such link looks like this or oh, so there is coming ID scope oh, okay it's good that's definitely good oh, let me copy the client ID okay I pasted the client ID now what's next the structure of the URL is quite simple. The first part is the record standard, uh, standard feature of the authorization and auth application, such as your board activation from the entry of the Discord server. The second part says the client ID is specific which application you want to authorize. You will need to replace the part of your with your client application client's ID in order to create a valid invite link. Last, the third part which says scope or specify that you want to add the application as a Discord board. Okay. A permission parameter also exists to restrict or guarantee the permission your bot uh, will have on the server to any for ease. Uh, use it for recommended to permissions. Permission parameter you can. Okay, so that is what I was trying to say. So, but since uh, I, uh, only I am. Uh, uh, have access to this bot and uh, it is private and use uh, currently you also don't have access to my token because I have changed it and it is also private but still uh, for the sake of my bot not being getting um, banned let me just add some restrictions uh, attach button for this one okay so let me copy it okay so and this one and the permissions parameter okay
Okay, so it's the same thing, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, if you get an annual message box requires a code grant, then head over to your application setting in the disable the required auth code grant option. You should you should enable this chat foundation. Okay, so I think I have enabled that and I need to disable that. And how can we disable that? Let me try this and let me just copy the URL just to save. And I hope it works. And alongside, let me open the Discord application also. Wow, it worked. And it only showed the mission which I have. Set it now. I will select my creation with a live Discord, and you can also join this uh, Discord uh, server if you want. Uh, I will just share the Discord invite link in the in the chat, and you can also um, follow me on Twitter. And apart from that, you can help me to run. Uh, you can help me to run this live stream by uh, giving some, uh, giving by giving me a few bucks a month. Uh, you can pay it on the recurring, uh, on you know, on a monthly basis, or you can pay it one time. Uh, but if you want to be, uh, if you want to help me to run uh, run this live stream, and you also want some perks along with that. Um, so what you can do is uh, once you join the discord uh, server just type a command donate in the general channel uh, uh, let me just show you how it works so once you join the once you join the my discord server uh, you will see uh, just go to, uh, just visit just open the journal channel and type donate uh, and attachment will pop up you can you have to just click this uh, link and you will redirect it to a separate uh, page where you where you see uh, let me just show you mine Oh, I think someone did reply and uh, saw the reply. So I, I think it's uh, a flash. Uh, okay, so I'll just call you flash. Uh, sorry, flash, I didn't uh, read your uh, chat messages. So uh, the flash is saying there is a echo. It is not normal. I wouldn't use. Okay, so uh, uh, the flash. Are you talking about the the audio? which I am like I am speaking right now so there is a uh, echo in the audio uh, and he is saying uh, I wouldn't use message or reply so in the code it is saying message okay yeah so flash uh, so what happening I am just uh, seeing like how it work I am not totally sure I haven't read the documentation very properly so yeah uh, well, thanks for the uh, for the thanks for pointing it out yeah I will definitely check this out uh, I'll use uh, in that uh, it looks cleaner so flash you are trying to say like uh, what kind of bed you are referring to that um, uh, so what do you mean by embed that uh, that discord has uh, that uh, uh, that embed attachment I suppose so are you referring to that uh, I do that if not equal to return okay yeah so thanks for the all the reference uh, or the for the help of the code uh, i will definitely consider that and just let me know that uh, that uh, if you are facing any uh, issues with the audio that what i'm trying that i'm speaking right now 
uh, and also what do you meant by that embed thing okay so as i was saying that uh, once you click that uh, uh, purchase road from the server you will visit this page where you can see uh, two separate uh, options the first one is the guest uh, and the second is the subscriber so if you uh, become a guest you will be get a chance to be with me on air like uh, i'm doing this live stream and you can join my on air channel so i'll show you so as you can see over here this is the on air channel you can join this if you become a, a guest and uh, apart from that you will get all the subscriber perks uh, so in the subscriber what you will get you will be able to join uh, the the let's talk audio channel where you can talk to talk with me uh, anytime if you want you can even uh, and, uh, you can even uh, ask other team other uh, members in the community to join the let's talk channel and you can talk with them also but if you want to talk with me i'll be happy to talk with you or if you need any help in the coding or or anything i will try my best to help you out and apart from that you will be also uh, able to uh, listen to the music which uh, i'll try my best to run it 24 7 but most probably it runs uh, around eight hours uh, approximately uh, you can you will be able to listen to the music also uh, and uh, like since you are getting all these perks it will also help you to run these live streams Okay, so now we can install the Twitch chat. Just let me uh, just open the, open the Discord side by side so that you can see it. So I think now uh, it has been installed uh, on my Discord server. Um, that's great. Okay, authorized to you may process. That's great. Okay, where is the display? Okay, here's the Twitch bot. Yeah. So it is actually there. I'm new to this call. Say hi. Hi. Twitch bot. Okay, so it's Twitch chat. This is nice. It is nice. Okay, so now it is installed. And let's see what it is saying further. Uh, if uh, you got a, uh, okay, we don't need that. We have installed. Okay, so it shows that this tell you about any step for the running. Okay, this called client console log. A token goes here and back to console. No requirement. Okay, that is message back. Two seconds. Hmm. Mean in the yes. Okay. Uh, when the client is ready, uh, run this uh, run this code. This event will trigger whenever your bot initiates login. We connect up and disconnect. We connect up and disconnect. Okay. Although it's not a lot, it's good to know uh, which each bit of the code does and it currently is. This won't really do anything because we want to <coughs> get some commands that run whenever someone is supposed to send a specific message, right? Let's get this. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my throat is a little bit uh, harsh. 
first make sure to, uh, to close the process and also you can open the see okay message client on message reply to a message <coughs> uh, ping okay so it is replying to the specific command okay hmm. listen for message <coughs> Come on. <coughs> so we want him to listen to the specific channel ID so I have set the channel ID to this but it is uh, so as I have said it is getting conflict in that um, so how should I differentiate this thing right Okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it. So we do need this. Uh, I'll just uh, do it later on. Uh, send message or message. Uh, okay. And so it will. It should not be reply. Uh, so as a uh, flash mentioned. Uh, I use a uh, in that I won't use a uh, message dot reply. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, uh, I'm not sure about that, but okay, so let's try what happens. But before that, uh, I'll just do a console log just to be on the safe side and see what error outputs. Message dot content. Uh, now let me comment this out. Let me move uh, this uh, out from here only. Just for uh, because we're just testing it, and uh, we will do that thing later. Okay. So at least now it should work. What's the error? Client is not different. Oops, it's send message stuff I also need to use a new bot token. Copy the bot token. Paste it. And let's move back to terminal. And uh, Flash, if you are still uh, watching this live stream, so as you must have seen, I have, as I have told you that I have, uh, that I that I haven't uh, checked the your chat messages uh, in the day. I have opened this uh, chat pop up actually, and I haven't uh, because I have already opened that uh, and it was open in the background, so I didn't get a chance to uh, to read the chat messages actually. Uh, so that why. Uh, and it is an, an extra window to open while I'm doing uh, live streams 
so that's why I thought to create this bot where we can send the messages to the discord channel uh, and uh, yeah so because we are already uh, because I'm using discord already and uh, I have been uh, quite a lot active on the discord recently uh, as you can also see uh, okay so I'll just show you as you can see that I have joined a lot of discord servers uh, and uh, like, like uh, I haven't uh, uh, replied to reply on the channels, but uh, you can say most probably I do reply in you can say 50 to 80, 60 percent of channels. Yeah, so it's a good thing that the product we are already using, so we can integrate in that, and uh, in that process, we can learn new things. And since you are also watching, you can also learn new things along with me. Okay, so uh, it is just connecting the that thing. We need to stop that. Okay, so send. So we should be sent the best so that it will reply. Inside the channel, your bot have access to the message. Okay, so I should send hi. Okay, so we did got an error. Now it take a uh, little bit. Uh, I think it take uh, you can say one point one point one millisecond. Yeah, I mean one. 100 millisecond it took uh, 1100 milliseconds to for this message to pop up so there was some kind of a delay <laughs> message is not defined why the message is not defined now we are logged in okay oh okay i'm also still there it should be this one so it should be you know what let me just run do only so i can oops this one makes more sense so let me read on the server uh, i don't want to use this uh okay i can use this one just to be make sure that it works everywhere and it also showing that twitch bot is live Okay, so I can say again hi. Okay, so it did console of the hi. So that's good. Okay. Nice. Now we can read all these messages again. Okay, I think uh, I just I didn't show this my screen. Sorry guys. Let me show my screen just to show you that it is it is working actually. Uh, I'll just shut down the server and start again. So it was quite awesome to see that something is working on the screen even though we are just using simple codes. But it's nice to see. <laughs> Okay, so the server is starting again, and if we say hello world, oops, hello. World. So you can see the message did appear over there. So that's good, and that is what we want. But we want to build this two-way connection. Okay, listening for music, uh, listening for messages, replying to messages. Uh, we don't want to reply to the message. Sorry, guys, I think that sound was too loud. 
restart your board and then same thing yes okay uh, but since uh, as I have hmm. so uh, there's the thing that um, we can uh, because I'm using stream elements for uh, for all the stuff like uh, shortcuts and everything and uh, even if I send this message to there and so that can also work uh, it doesn't matter but it's good to know that the thing can also be possible okay configuration file as you get deeper into development you might need to interact with the sensitive data or the data that gets used in uh, multiple locations such as database password api key comma prefixes or list of port key owner's id hmm. uh, i don't think so we need some kind of a bot to store all the data Okay, so the thing that's hmm. so I think this is what uh, the flash uh, the flash was talking about that uh, that I would use uh, 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 this embeds command with user input. Okay, so we can pass arguments. Yeah, it's already late night. Uh, it's uh, around uh, eleven forty here in India. So I'm already yawning. Okay, so the command helper. Combo situation with the argument. Okay, so there are a lot of things we can do, and that's nice. File setup, time with embeds, reactions, permission extended. Okay, so there's that uh, embed thing. Okay, there's an embed. So it is in the popular topics. Mm -hmm. This thing is database share sharding. Oh, the computer environment additional info. So this is the embed. Uh, if you have been around this for a while, what are the changes? Changes are happening. Changes are you. Chances are you have uh, seen this special message. They are called color box in a percent by bots and have embedded images, text field, and other transistors in the following section. We will explain how to compose and where to send it and what you need to be able to do this. Okay. So, yeah, that's a good idea since. Um, we cannot change the avatar we can send this uh, back uh, along with the message so that's a good idea so yeah thanks uh, flash uh, for this situation uh, for this suggestion this is very helpful we can create a uh, uh, impact for every message and which will contain the user uh, avatar again um, I need to see now since now we can show the user avatar over here so I will just see how we can fetch that thing hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry guys I'm just a yawning on live stream <laughs> Okay. 
using the rich embed constructor uh, discount js feature with uh, features the utility class rich embed for construction and manipulation of embeds cause discount uh, okay so we have already used that uh, and uh, uh, let's say hmm. so uh, what is this image about Go to. Okay, so this is the logo. So add feet and add feet. Okay, so we can set the color. Oh, that's new. That's definitely new. So since if you have a uh, if you are watching the live stream from from starting, we will have seen that uh, you could set the 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 color of the user from the Twitch. Right, so we can use that. It's awesome. You don't need to include all the elements shown but if you want to simply but just leave some out. So let's try this out. Uh, but before that, uh, should I uh, let me try that thing only? Uh, I'll just wait for this thing and open this. And uh, I need to send the message. So whatever we uh, whatever message we send. Um, We are sending the message. So we are watching the message command that on on on. So we need to send the message. So let me check the documentation for that. So I'll just uh, take a look at this later on. Uh, first of all, let me focus on that thing. Uh, channel message message over oh, yeah, yeah. Attachment of the chain implement zero squad. So yeah, I think the message will be reply only. Message or reply me, I will reply. So we don't want the bot to reply to a command, instead it should send the message. So I think it is the correct documentation we are looking into. Reply to message. Okay, so let's see. Uh, in message. So we got the message thing and <coughs> so we got this message of reply. Send message. So we need to write send message to reply. Here we will reply. In it. <coughs> so instead of that, we will uh, append the the message itself. Then send console logs. Send a so we got 
message has been sent to send in channel send to this call by <coughs> here's the full name of the user Hmm. Okay, makes sense. Just uh, just hoping so that it can work. <coughs> Let me answer this thing. I mean, comment this thing. So it should connect to the Twitch and wait for a message to send to Oh wow So there was a problem send message or reply is not function Okay so didn't see that coming Okay, so it is message dot channel dot send if message dot content okay so just a second so over here we are using send message dot on message there were console on that and over here message dot content okay so it will be send message dot message dot channel dot send Okay, so let's try to gain. Okay, so it has been joined now. How are you doing? Okay, so no one's compared to the city wheel. Cannot be for picture. So what, what's wrong I'm doing like, so what's wrong with my code, uh, send message dot, okay I think uh, I, uh, just a second, um,
client your message oh god is what i'm going to put it in. so it will be this thing message and <coughs> So it will be message dot reply with the message so let me change this to send message Discord. Oh, I hope it works. Okay, so let me send the message. Okay, so we did call that thing. Uh, in, oh, okay. But I uh, did it uh, send the message. No, I didn't send the message because he doesn't know where to send the message. dot channel send Okay, so let me just restart the server again. Find it, connect to channel. Fetch messages. Okay, so that's <coughs> We can join the the that which uh, channel now. If we send the message, so something is not working. Let me debug it. Also, I haven't used this uh, Visual Studio Code Debugger feature, so I don't know how to use it. If we go on, start debugging. How it will work? No, okay, this is stopped. Um, 
I think we need to find the message of content. Features, time, comment, setup. So, uh, how we need, oh, I need to understand this documentation. So, first, pay. I'm not ready already for message. Wait and uh, event list of formulas. Okay, so we're, uh, what I'm doing over here, I'm creating an event list of formulas, but I don't want to create an event list that I'm going to send that message. Uh, okay. Here it does. Message you bad. Okay, so I think yeah, I want to even create an event list for messages. On messages and we are so all uh, these are the just the uh, event listener. We don't want to listen to anyone. We want to send the. We want to send the message. Okay, so I, okay, okay, call it, call it, call it. Um, was tweak of mistake. Yes, message um, channel. Message channel action zero. So I think it will be like uh, a collection of factors in the message feature. The author of the message. The channel that the message okay, so this call client. Client and okay, go ahead. So, what this is has been depreciated. Can't be at her because a trace call to support editing the messages. 
Okay, so it will be so that was the event and method property. message is discord channel so it's um, <clears throat> it has been already um, three and a half hour since I have since I'm doing live stream uh, so I think I'm already tired and it's uh, so it's out now 12 o'clock in the morning and so I think I should sleep so I'll just uh, end the live stream I'm just thinking to end the live stream now okay so I think I should end the live stream now I'm quite tired right now So okay guys, um, it was fun doing coding with you and we will continue wherever we have left now. We will continue this in next live stream and uh, since I have just uh, got, uh, I have just created this new setup of my internet connection and now it is just right over here, yeah you can see I am just pointing it over here and uh, so i think i hope that i might get a good internet speed and uh, i also hope that uh, the live stream which i'm doing right now is that the, the bit rate was good and there was no issues in the live stream and um, okay so uh, i'm not sure that i will do the live stream tomorrow but uh, uh, so what can do? I can do? I will. Okay. So tomorrow is I'm, today is Sunday uh, because it's already uh, twelve o'clock. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So I'll do the live stream on Monday. Okay. So I'll do live stream. Um, so day after tomorrow at so I think it will be thirty first. Okay. So yeah, we will do the live stream on Monday and uh, I will see you there. Yeah, so okay, so it will be uh, first, uh, first October. Okay, so we will do live stream on first October. Okay guys, then yeah, bye bye.